One of Swindon and the West's leading visitor attractions is STEAM, the Museum of the Great Western Railway. Here you can experience the sights and sounds of the lost age of STEAM. You can learn about the men and women who built, operated and travelled on the GWR. It's a tribute really to a, a town and also to all the guys that once worked here. I mean, it shows, you know, why Swindon's here. Without this, you know, without this works, because this, of course, is in the old works, there wouldn't be a Swindon. It was a little, you know, farming community and then became one of, probably one of the most important uh, industrial centres in the whole of the British Empire. This works and this museum represents the uh, Great Western Railway and that heritage is important to the railway world only because one of the things that people forget is Britain gave the rest of the world the railways. Without this museum then the railway heritage would almost have gone forever. So the museum lives on in a building that part of it actually dates back to 1846. So the, the building is our biggest exhibit um, and we've got some fine locomotives in here but the museum's not just about people coming in that are what we call railway fanatics. There is so much for everybody, even if you're not even interested in railways. There's so much here to look at, people to talk to. Just stepping in one of the carriages and the quality, the quality of the workmanship. You could just sit and, and watch what's going on and just enjoy the atmosphere. It's a lovely place to come. There's lots of things for children here the steam enthusiast and even the casual visitor who just wants uh, an experience of steam. The size and scale of things really gives you an idea of the sense of what was going on here all those years ago. And the exhibits of trains, it's nice to be able to touch them and climb on and really get a feel of what they are. It brings it all to life. You know, the models, the, the, the suitcases, the, the animals. There's just so much atmosphere here. You can almost transport yourself back to those days. Well, the place is well laid out. The map is good and easy to follow. And it um, covers all aspects of the GWR. And um, if I was selling it, I would think the, uh, the pricing is quite good for a place of this size. I thought perhaps it might be a lot more expensive than it really is than it actually turned out to be. And um, as an education for the youngsters, it's terrific. It performs a specific function in the, so far as it also maintains a library of pictures and an archive of documents and books relating to the Great Western Railway. So it's uh, twofold. It is about conserving heritage as well as entertaining the public and visitors. It's got a a role to stress the importance of uh, railways to the heritage of the country and I think it does that very well. The exhibits on the foundry and the carriage shop and the uh, models of people are very well reconstructed so they look uh, really lifelike when you go into the, way, the rooms. It's, it's great to see them. You, you think they're really people there. So I think it brings it alive and, it, and it's telling a wonderful story for people. This was a major, major railway works in its time. And the museum itself it, it is um, in memory of those people with showing exhibits of what once was Swindon. For example, Evening Star, um, that was built in Swindon, the last steam locomotive built. And you've only got to look at that engine to see the skills that went into building them. And we could build up actually up to three a week, believe it or not. So steam represents the past, if you like, and it's good for people to leave the present day behind for a couple of hours and come into steam and see what the great restaurant was all about. It's a brilliant way of looking at industrial uh, life. I mean, the thing is that you just have to look at the size of these things that, that are in here and realise when you stand next to them how big it was and you look at the whole site and how big it was and it's just, it's just a tribute to, to the way that we did do things. It's a, it's a, it's a, this way of life has gone forever and never ever return like this. This is a time machine.